Hi again everybody. It's another uh, segment of our How to Make a Still video. Today we're going to work on the uh, worm box. A few key components you'll need to get this done are a five gallon pail. This can be picked up at any big box store for about five or six dollars. Uh, don't forget the lid. That just helps store stuff. You need copper tubing. I have 20 feet of copper tubing here. The actual thickness is up to you or the, uh, the diameter. I think this is about three-eighths of an inch. You'll need silicone and that will seal uh, around the edges when you drill the hole. Pretty simple procedure and uh, I'll step you through it today. One of the first things you do is open up your copper tubing, slide it out. The big thing with the copper tubing is it's very malleable. You can move it all, bend it by hand, but you got to be very careful not to kink it. So one of the first things you want to do is notice that it's in a, in a coil and already this coil fits inside the diameter of your bucket. So really all we need to do is kind of spread it apart right now and then as the uh, steam vapor goes through this and this is filled with chilled water, it will condense out. But before we do that, I want to make sure I get the diameter of this measured so I can get the appropriate drill bit to drill a hole into our worm box. So I've pre-measured this, and I know this drill bit should do the trick. By the time I drill this into the side, maybe wiggle it around a little bit to make it a little bit bigger, uh, this tube should fit through that. I'll feed this down in there and silicone around the edges so it doesn't leak. Okay, I've got my five gallon pail. I'm gonna make a little mark where I'm gonna drill my hole to put the copper tubing through. Just using a regular drill. So I'm gonna start with a small pilot hole. Okay, got the pilot hole done, using the bigger drill bit now. Okay, that's all there is to it. That hole should be about the same size as my copper pipe. Just a quick double check. Yep, that'll fit in there nicely. Okay, our next step is to expand that uh, coil of copper tubing that came like this in the box. It's a very soft, malleable metal, so we just need to start stretching it up. It'll almost do this under gravity. Pull it apart. The important thing is do not let it get kinked. Remember, we got to keep it so it fits inside of this bucket, and the bottom hole has to be fed through here. So we're going to have to kink this bottom piece probably, if you can follow my hand, if this is the bottom, we'll slowly work this around a little bit tighter, slow deliberate movements, so it'll come out the bottom without a kink, like that. See how that does? So at the bottom, let's see if we can get it from above. From above, you'll see how this piece right here will be sticking out the side of our worm box. Once we get that situated in there, we can go ahead and take the silicone and uh, silicone around it so it doesn't leak and then we'll do a water check. Okay. Now that we've bent this uh, copper tubing out with the 
pipe extension to go outside of the bucket, outside of the worm box. It's time to put this in the worm box itself. I'll do it on its side to show you. You know, we're just going to slide this in. And I'm going to feed that pipe tubing through a little hole. There it goes. So I like to have the thing come out about an inch and a half. And I'll take this off of the uh, tripod to show you from the inside. On the inside, and we need to bend this a little bit more, we see the copper tubing going around and around, and we can fine tune this by slow, slow little bends. And on the bottom, it heads out. So in the big picture, this worm, this copper, will convey the uh, steam vapor that you want to condense out to get the condensate out of it. So this will come dripping out later on. One thing left to do on this worm box is to take your silicone and liberally apply it around here and on the inside. And one final thing you want to make sure of is you can see how this thing is slightly bent up right now. You want that to be at an angle where it'll drip down, otherwise uh, the uh, liquid will run back here and it'll be a bit of a mess to collect it. So you want this to bend down, so we'll make sure we put a little pressure on that, not to crimp it, but to make sure that bends down at a good angle where the liquid will drip out. Okay, the final step for this making your worm box is to use some sort of a sealant, silicone is what I typically use, and you're just going to put a big thick bead around here, maybe run it up a half inch up the copper tube. Do this all on the outside, so all the way around, and on your finger do it all the way on the inside. Let that sit overnight and your worm box will be complete after you do a quick uh, leak check at the end. So there you have it. You need about $25 to build yourself a copper tubing um, utility bucket worm box. And that will be an essential part of your distillation kit.